So we go after knight c6. As I said, d6 is not a good move. B6 is best. So why not d6? The thing here is that after queen d8, king d8, this end game. After move f3 or knight c3, white has advantage. Uh, why? In this video, I will explain this everything. It's gonna be a bit a long video. However, looking carefully, it, uh, you will grow up not only just understanding uh, this position, but will grow uh, your skills, your understanding of chess will go to next level. So be careful, I will try as clear as possible to explain why this position is good for white. And also we will compare this position with Berlin Endgame. As some of you who have who know uh, theory, he can ask what's the difference between this position and the Berlin Endgame, which occurs after Rui Lopez, bishop, bishop b5, knight f6, castle, knight e4, d4, take, and this endgame. What is the difference? Main difference here is that the pawn is on e5, not on e4. Why here in this video I will explain this. Together we will go step by step to see what's the difference is and what's going on here in this ending. The first thing here why this ending is better for white is because if we change now all the pieces and let them pawn ending, king against king, king 7 pawns against king 7 pawns, the position is lost for black. Now we will go and see why. And because of the fact that the pawn ending is lost for black, every time they should make concessions, avoiding the pieces change. So before going to this position, at first of all, we should understand why the pawn ending is lost. Why also it's important to understand why the pawn uh, ending is lost? Because let's imagine there is a rook endgame, this is the position, I took all the pieces and I led the rooks. Here is the thing that if, uh, there go, of course there is a, a D open line, so the fight gonna be there. After uh, rook D1, some moves, uh, white wants to play rook D2, rook D8, rook D1, and black cannot fight for this line. Because after rook A D8, rook D8, rook D8, rook D1, they cannot take rook d1, now, now we will see why, and so they should make concession going rook somewhere and uh, giving, the d, give, giving up the d-line. So first of all, let's understand why the pawn ending is lost for black. The thing here is the difference between pawn structure. While these four pawns can make a post pawn against this three, Black's uh, four pawns cannot make a post pawn against these three. If you know it, it's fine. And if no, I will explain it here. Let's assume we remove the kings. As on chess base, I cannot remove the kings. Uh, the settings not let me. I will just take them to uh, queen side and show everything in queen side. And then I will take the kings to queen side and show what is going going on on queen side. So at first, at first, let's see uh, how these four pawns make a post pawn against these three. Just imagine that there are no kings, and let's assume the position is without kings, and see how these four pawns are making a post pawn against these three. So we are going f4. Next moves are g4. It's maybe even h4, and then e5, f5, and then e6. Also, it's possible after e4 immediately go e5, f5, and make a post pawn. And if after e5, uh, white uh, black plays g6, then uh, g4 is coming, g4 f5. So let's say black is playing your h5, not letting us to do it. We don't do a mistake with playing h3 move. Uh, h3 want to play g4. However, after h3, h4. We cannot make a post pawn anymore. G4, of course, is not possible because it's G3. And if you play E5, then G6, stopping here, not letting us to play F5. And the same if you play F5, F6. However, after H4, F4, H5, we play G3 at first, and then next move H3. So uh, I just make a move with King, so I can move on the board for white pieces. H3 we go, we go G4, and then E5, 
and f5 if not uh, g6 no difference can get just f f5 and e6 so it's very easy to make a postpone this is four pawns against three now let's go and see why these four pawns cannot make a postpone against these three i took the kings to the king side just imagine there there are not kings and see what's going on these four pawns against these three the thing here if we let black to do everything what they want and just uh, stay here black will make a pass pawn uh, the thing here is this is a famous position this three against this three when it's black to move there is a b3 strong move and black is getting a pass pawn the thing here is if we take with c pawn they play a3 strong move uh, and after b a3 they play c3 the similarly is if after b3 we play with we take it with a pawn then c3 and after b c3 a3 and again post pawn the thing here is that if uh, there was here a white to move uh, and there was not pawn on c7 after b3 this is the only move that is making a draw if there was not pawn on c7 it would be draw because uh, stopping here with otherwise with playing c3 is not possible because of a3 and again black is making a pass pawn and the same if a3 then c3 however when there is a pawn on c7 b3 is not saving the game because black just take it and now c7 uh, pawn do his job uh, c5 c4 and black made a pass pawn and won it's, it's everything we speak about when uh, we imagined that there is not kings So here is the plan of black, they are going a5, b5, um, uh, uh, a4, c5, b4, c4, and then make post pawn. But we stop here with easy way, this 4 pawn against this 3, remember it cannot, because of we are waiting with putting our pawns on c3 and a3. And now just waiting, black cannot do anything. Uh, even as if they play c4 and bring another z pawn and play b4, uh, b4 or a4 then b4, no difference. The thing here, we don't touch this pawn. If you take, of course, now 3 against 2 and they make the pass pawn. But we just uh, stay here. Uh, oops, we just play king h1 and uh, black cannot do anything. If take, it's fine and no way for black. Take B8, we take the pawn, B3 is closed, no, nothing there. And if Plague plays A4 and then B4 is the same, or B4 then A4, again we don't take the pawn. Yeah, it's free, but we cannot take the pawn because after CB4, take, take, and C3, A3, or uh, A3, and then C3. So with just taking the pawns c3 and a3, these four pawns cannot make a post pawn against these three because these two pawns are doubled pawns. This is the difference of all pawn ending. When these four uh, pawns cannot make a post pawn against these three, while our four pawns can make a post pawn against these three because we don't have a doubled pawn. After uh, a5 when black is coming, there is also another ways for white uh, to stop. It was just the easiest illustration with c3 and a3 or a3 with c3. We can also play here move a4. Uh, just after b5, don't take on b5 because after uh, a b5, c b5, now again, three pawns gonna be against two. And the thing here is black doesn't have uh, the double pawn. So we just wait here by doing b3 move and everything is fine if take take fine no way to make here a post pawn and if black plays uh, some b4 again no way for them c4 just now we take the pawn otherwise if we wait uh, c5 now is coming c5 c4 and again they made a post pawn so after c4 we can just uh, take it and again no way for black to make a post pawn here after a4, if black tried to play c5 and c6, here again we just stay here. Now many moves are doing draw. We can play here moves like c4, giving another pawn here. And the thing that if black take here, and again 
three double pound and no way for them triple the double pound and no way for black to get a post pawn c3 we just simply take it no way and the same is after ba4 no difference just here we don't play b3 move because after b3 c4 now black get a post pawn because now after cb3 cb3 it's gonna be three pounds against two and a post pawn and here they took the another pawn so here moves c3 was also doing draw c4 king g1 before but again we don't touch here king h1 so against these four pawns there are many ways uh, for stopping this just the easiest one for illustration i showed is c3 and a3 while our four against this three makes a pass pawn now let's go back to our position with um, pawn ending the starting position so what's the plan of uh, white we make a pass pawn here in the queen side uh, with these four pawns against these three and pushing with this pass pawn uh, just alone cannot uh, win but uh, one moment we are giving our pass pawn and our king is then going and grabbing our opponent pawns so let's see this uh, on illustration uh, so let's say black is uh, waiting there king e6 uh, g5 don't give anything just g3 and again f4 is coming so king e6 f4 h5 i tried um, mm -hmm. H3 now also fine because H4 doesn't give anything to black, king F3, king G4 and we grab the pawn. So F4, H5, G3 this is also good, G3, G6, H3 we go to G4, king F6, G4, H4, H4, G5 I played for black, if black play king E6 easier for white judge G5. Black waits here, some moment f5 and we got our post pawn here, take and then this is again winning uh, this position. So uh, g5 will get something similar, e5, king e6 just waiting there. Uh, now we are doing some moves until uh, the moves of black is finished and they move back to king e7. Some b5, king f4, no matter, we just wait him. And finally, one, uh, sooner or less, they play king e7, king f5. Again, let's say they are do, trying to make some moves here. We are stopping here everything. And then uh, going to g5, making a pass pawn finally. King d7 going, e6, and going, as I said, king is going finally, giving this pass pawn. Because king cannot come, come and protect here because of the g pawn. So king when it goes there, king d6 and grabbing here everything. It was just an example of uh, this position. Uh, the plan this uh, is um, easy for us. Uh, again, just creating post pawn here, giving the post pawn to our opponent and with king going and crushing these uh, four pawns. So now well, let's go back and see what's the difference uh, with Berlin endgame uh, with the same structure. The main thing here is that the pawn is on e5, which is a weak. If I say to you in this middle game that e5 pawn is weak, it would be curious for you how this e5 pawn can be weak. But on just that rook uh, ending illustration, it's very easy to see. Let's go there, I will show you it. Let's say the same rook endgame, but now instead of e4, the pawn is on e5. Now, if again we try to change the rooks, suddenly uh, after rook d1, instead of uh, winning as it was in the previous one when the pawn was in e4, now suddenly we are losing it. Because after rook d1, king d1, e4 pawn is losing after king e6, f4, and king f5, and g5. Next move, gf is coming, and if we take the pawn, they take. Next move, king f5, king e5, or even more simple way, rook d1, king d1, g5 at first, with move king e6. Now g3 doesn't give anything, black plays king f6, f4, and grab the f4 pawn, then the e5 pawn, or g3 play g4, stopping here, and then next move is playing king e6. So here yeah, it was a nice example to understand the difference of why the e5 pawn is not good there. It's much better for us when it's e on e4. 
uh, and even uh, in rook endings here it could be possible for black to play let's say g5 now and then next move to play king e6 and our e5 pounds is making troubles for us another difference between the position uh, this ending when the pawn is in on e4 and the berlin endgame which is very popular is that also black pieces are placed very well their knight on f8 is very strong bishop is coming to e6 and this e5 pawn all the time making us trouble however after scotch knight c6 d6 queen d8 king d8 our pawn is on e4 and we never never play e5 here as you saw, the pawn should be here. It's very important for us uh, in that upcoming uh, more deeply endings when we change more pieces. So here we simply play f3 or knight c3, protecting it, but just not playing e5 move. So again, coming and speaking about this position, as you saw, the thing here is that with changing piece by piece, uh, advantage of white is becoming bit bigger because the pawn ending is lost for black here is that everything well now you can understand why i spent so much time explaining the pawn opening why it is lost why these four pawns against these three makes a pass pawn while our opponent's pawns four against these three doesn't make past pawn so i have a game for you which illustrates this everything so let's go i will comment it and we will understand this position better 